Hello everyone, this time I would like to introduce you to a book about the dietary techniques taught by a Japanese doctor. While some people are still full of energy and able to do their job even at the age of 40, there are others whose health is eroding and they are suffering from all kinds of diseases. Why is there a difference? The doctor says it has to do with the daily diet you usually eat. Some of you may reply that we know that. However, there are many people who understand this but are not able to put it into practice, are they? By the way, what is the most important thing for a hard-working business person? Sales figures? Personal connections? Guts? Hard work? The most important thing is a pleasant meal. Even the best luxury car will break down if you put petrol full of impurities in it. But with your own body, many people put in bad food without a second thought, don't they? Dr. Makita says that people who say their work performance is poor must first switch to the right diet. Have you recently experienced difficulty concentrating, irritability, tiredness, or sleepiness during the day? The reason for these ailments, says the doctor, is because you are not controlling your blood sugar levels. Do you like sugar-laden coffee or juice? When blood sugar levels rise after eating something sweet, brain chemicals are released and we get a high. This high is called the bliss point. However, this bliss point does not last long and the pancreas secretes large amounts of insulin to lower the raised blood glucose levels. The blood glucose level then drops dramatically and the high is replaced by irritability and other unpleasant symptoms. This makes people want to get back to that high again, and they crave sweet foods that raise blood glucose levels. This is called sugar addiction. If you consume large amounts of sugar on a daily basis in this way and fall into sugar addiction, insulin secretion becomes abnormal and blood glucose levels fall abnormally low. And when blood glucose levels fall abnormally low, it can make it difficult to concentrate, make you sleepy and reduce your performance. So what can we do to reduce carbohydrates on a regular basis? The answer is simple. The doctor recommends reducing the amount of food that normally raises blood sugar levels. For example, avoid sugar in coffee or drinking juices and energy drinks. You should try to eat less sweets and fruit, and eat less white rice and bread other than rye bread. By eliminating these things from your life, says the doctor, you will be less likely to be irritable and have trouble concentrating. So what foods should you eat next? The doctor says you should eat chicken, fish, beans, vegetables, eggs, olive oil, nuts, chocolate, soya beans, cheese, coffee and vinegar. These foods are all less likely to raise blood glucose levels and are medically considered to be healthy. And as for why we should eat these things, the doctor says we should eat in line with our DNA. Our brains are programmed to take in carbohydrates to prevent starvation. The reason we try to take carbohydrates is to store energy in case of food shortages. So if a person who lives a life where he or she never starves continues to take sugar, the chance of becoming addicted to it increases. And as much as possible, the doctor says, we should avoid unnatural food that has been added by humans. I would like to briefly summarize what we have learned so far. So far we have learned about three things. Number 1 90% of all disorders are caused by blood sugar levels. Number 2 Foods you should not eat. Number 3 Foods you should eat. And we learnt that we should reduce these foods and drinks. And we learnt that it is better to eat these foods and not to eat artificially produced foods. Next, I would like to show you how to eat the foods recommended by the doctor and what and how you should eat each food. First, let's talk about how to eat, according to Dr. Makita, there are three important things to consider. Number 1 The natural way of eating is the strongest. Number 2 Eat like hunters eat. Number 3 The less processed food is, the better food is. Let's start by talking about the first, that the natural way of eating is the most powerful. Eating food in its natural way is easy to understand when you think of a whole food diet. For example, with fish, the idea is that you should eat everything from head to tail. Next, the idea of eating what hunter-gatherers eat, they used to eat a lot of meat. Modern people get most of their calories from carbohydrates such as rice and bread, but we should eat more meat, says the doctor. And about the third point, that the less processed the food is, the better, today we have frozen foods such as frozen pizzas and ultra-processed foods such as cup noodles. 
these ultra-processed foods are said to be bad for your health. Next, I would like to talk about what you should eat and how you should eat it for each food category. First of all, regarding meat, the doctor says to eat chicken as much as possible. This is because beef and processed meat can cause colorectal cancer. So aim for a cycle of eating more chicken, pork in moderation and beef occasionally. Now let's move on to seafood. Eat whole bluefish and small fish as much as possible. Blue fish include mackerel, horse mackerel, sardines, and Pacific sari. These bluefish are rich in EPA and DHA and small fish are also rich in vitamin D and calcium, which are good for your health, says the doctor. Next, let's talk about eggs. Have you ever heard that you should not eat eggs because they are high in cholesterol? We know that this is actually incorrect. And eggs are said to be a rare and excellent source of nutrients, and it is recommended to eat them raw. Of course, choose eggs that can be eaten raw. You may want to eat them as you would eat raw eggs with meat when eating Japanese sukiyaki. Number 4 Eat leafy vegetables, fruit vegetables, and cruciferous vegetables. The doctor says that you should eat 350 grams of leafy vegetables, fruit vegetables, and cruciferous vegetables a day. Leafy vegetables are those with leaves, such as spinach and Japanese mustard spinach. Fruit vegetables include tomatoes, eggplant, cucumber, and okra. Root vegetables include potatoes, pumpkins, and lotus roots. Cruciferous vegetables include broccoli, cauliflower, turnips, radishes, cabbage, and Chinese cabbage. These cruciferous vegetables lower blood glucose levels, so eat them actively, says the doctor. Next, let's look at dairy products. Choose natural cheese and avoid processed cheese, says the doctor. It is not known for sure whether milk and yogurt are good for your health, so it is better not to drink or eat more than you need. And if you feel like eating yogurt, it is better to eat it after a meal. Now, I would like to summarize what we have learned so far. Number 1 Natural ways of eating are the strongest. Number 2 It is better to eat what hunter-gatherers eat. Number 3 The less processed food is, the better food is. And you have learned the following about what and how you should eat for different foods. It is difficult to put all of them into practice, so why not incorporate the ones you like that you think you can do into your life one at a time? How was it? I hope that this video will help you to become a little healthier in your eating habits. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like and share this video, it will spread and many people will be able to watch this video, so please hit the like button. Thank you for watching.